Oh, welcome everyone to Minefield. We're in Fallout 3, just looking through some locations, and today we have stumbled across what used to be called Ridge Field, and now it's called Minefield. Pretty, pretty fitting name. It's south of the MDPL 13 power station, and very close to Germantown Police HQ. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. You're going to find four skill books scattered across this town, and about 67 frag mines, hence Minefield. Now to give you a bit of backstory, this place was actually inhabited by some military survivors who thought they could set up a real defensive position. Okay. Okay, Arkansas. God damn it, Arkansas. So yes, just to finish before all the explosion goes off, uh, there was military survivors. Uh, the slavers from our favourite place, Paradise Falls, found out that they were there, went over, and enslaved everyone except one who escaped, called Arkansas. Now, Arkansas was pretty young at the time, but he vowed revenge on those slavers. Came back to Ridgefield and mined the place up, set traps, the slavers came back after he spread some rumours that new inhabitants moved in, and he promptly killed most of the slavers that came, and they never returned. Now, when you stumble across Minefield, you could either be here because Moria Brown sent you for the Wasteland Survival Guide, or you could be here for Strictly Business, where you're going to use that, that weapon, you know, that mind controls people. Me, 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 I, I, don't know, I don't remember its name. I'm not even going to attempt it. Um, but yes, this is the place to be. Now, uh, oof. Oh, ow. There's four houses. All of which... <laughs> all of which... Mines. Have skill books in them. So there's one here. Two. Three. Over there. And there's a fourth one around the corner. Now I am approaching from this direction. Uh, he is scripted to just start shooting. Uh, there's a map on the wiki. Different boxes. There's like different scripted boxes to which he will start firing, but I'm going right up to him and I'm going to kill him. Now, beside his wee bed here, there is a few Nuka Colas, Salisbury steaks and whatnot. Now, I'm going to go up and I'm going to uh, disarm him peacefully. After disarming him peacefully, or mind controlling him if you're doing the Strictly business, you can take the Ridgefield Gate Key. Now, I thought there was a literal gate I was looking for, but I was wrong. It actually accesses all the houses. So that you don't have to lockpick at them. Because I know one's hard, one's very hard, and one's average, and one's very easy. So we'll go into this one first. This is Zane's house. Now, there are oodles of items scattered about. But I am aiming mainly for the skill books in these. Uh, this is the Grognag the Barbarian one, I believe. Could be wrong. Could be the Pugilism. It's the Pugilism. There it is. Pugilism Illustrated. Pick that bad boy up. If you have the comprehension perk, of course, you'll get even more. You get two two sale points for, instead of one. And there's just a few skeletons. It's a common theme that uh, the occupants of every single house appear to be where they were when the bombs fell. Or they just kind of sat there and decided to wait it out. There are, as, of, as I mentioned before, 67 frag mines. So if you want to pick them up individually, one by one, after you take care of Arkansas, uh... Yeah, you'll get 67 frag mines. Who, who doesn't want frag mines? I, I rarely use them in most of my playthroughs, but in the Benson's house. And I think we can go right up the stairs. And Benson's is... Not here. There it is. DC Journal of Internal Medicine. Bam. Get that. Now, there's lots of vacuum cleaners. Uh, there's vacuum cleaners, leaf blowers lawnmower blades and a f loads of the you know the high level crafting items i haven't played fallout 3 in a while but uh, i noticed that when i was having a look so be sure to grab all all the equipment that you might see like there's leaf blowers conductors there's just it's just stuff scattered everywhere in the gibson's house uh, a few pre-war books in this one and i think it's on the desk as well is it no just another pre-war one and some Maddox with the happy couple given their last goodbyes. Behind there, there is an easy lock safe. Occasionally, it can contain a stealth boy, so definitely worthwhile opening. In my case, it does not. <laughs> Knowing my luck, that's just the way it is. In our pre-war book, so let's see if we can find the skill book. It must be downstairs. There it is. Tumblers today, so get the lockpick skill going. Filing cabinets, and, uh, oh yes, there's a very hard model of a home. 
Now you can open that. Does it look familiar? Because I believe that's the same one from uh, Fallout New Vegas in the big empty. What's that village? Higgs Village. Looks a lot like them. Although, to be honest, it's probably just the model of a lot of houses in Fallout. So, uh, yeah. Lots of explosions. Into Gillian's house for the fourth and final skill book. You'll find a lot of rad roaches just sitting chilling about here. And up here you'll find Grognag the Barbarian. Pick that up and get that skill leveled up. You'll just find quite a lot of these. I'm going to use some overwhelming force on them. To give you all a bit of amusement for the uh, evening, afternoon, whatever time you choose to work. Oh, look at them dance. You never should have come here. I love how it's like, oh, it might miss. Miss what? Oh, his leg. And the roaches have been, oh, exterminated. There we go. It's a roach-free home, lads. Roach-free home. But yes, that is minefield, lore, items, everything done and dusted. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Oh, I almost slipped there. Said thank you, what? Not in these videos, lads. But I'll see you all in the next episode. Adios.